Now I'm joined here by Longford Town Manager Neil Fenn. Neil, a 4 0 win, you must be delighted after that. Obviously delighted with the result um, and the performance, full play very well. Limited go away to, to not many chances, especially in the second half. And you know, we went in at half time playing okay, but knowing we could up it even more, and, and we did that in the second half. I think a lot of the supporters felt that a goal was coming for us. You know, Sean Boyd had a few chances in the first half and, and Sam there as well. But the second half, you know, the tempo was kind of up to think a little bit and Galway kind of set back and allowed us to play our own game. And eventually we got the goal through being born first. Yeah, I always felt it was goals in the team and it was just, not that I didn't feel it was a matter of time. I just thought we had goals in us and we would get a chance and if we did, we'd take it. As the time was going on, I started to think that maybe we wouldn't, maybe we'd go for another game of, of struggling. But uh, once we got the first goal, then you know, obviously the second goal came really quick and we ended up adding two more and it was a good result in the end. Dean Bourne popping up again, as I said, with two goals again tonight. You know, he's always there for us when we need him. But it was great to see Sean Boyd getting on the score sheet for the club. Yeah, it was excellent. I thought everybody played well tonight. I thought it's hard to point out um, anyone in particular. I thought Sean Boyd is great. He got a goal from Dobsey when he came on a sub to, to set up two assists. Um, everybody was, was excellent today and I'm delighted for, for Sean Boyd and for, for Dean Burns to get another cup. As you said, Aaron Dodds came on as a substitute with about 20 minutes to go and you know he, he really worked hard. He created two goals out of nothing basically, especially the second one. How good was it for you to see a man that was starting last week come off the bench tonight and put in a performance like that? Yeah, obviously he was disappointed that he didn't start tonight and uh, rightly so because he's a very good player. But he needs a little bit of confidence, he needs to build his confidence back up and tonight hopefully we'll do that for him. Joe Manley then popped up, you know, in the last few seconds to score a header. I'd say he was delighted with himself going in. Joe's absolutely, you know, he's such a good lad, he's such a good player. It's just been unfortunate that Connor and Mick have done so well um, that he hasn't started that many games for us. But he came in today and, and was excellent, won loads of headers in the second half and obviously popped up with a goal, which we are delighted because we don't score that many goals from set pieces and we, we, we take that. It's great to get four goals, you know, it, it's much needed for goal difference purposes and things like that. But, you know, tr another three vital points in the push for promotion. Yeah, again, I've said it before, when you play on a Saturday, it's always difficult because you know what, what everyone's done the night before. Obviously, Bray went in last night, could have possibly put the pressure on us for, for a fourth even after we're thinking we're, we've got a chance of getting second. So that, that keeps that distance away from Bray um, and it puts pressure on Dryer in second. We look ahead to next week, you know, it's the big one again, the El Clasico against Atlan. How tough will it be going over to Atlan and then, you know, we're playing them again the next week in the FEL Cup? Like I say, every week is a different, it's a difficult game. Away to Athlone is going to be difficult, they've got some good players we know, um, good young players uh, on, a, on an Astro pitch, which we're not used to obviously, so it'll be tough, but like I said to the boys before, we've won there before, we can go and do it again. <laughs>